We're still in Genesis chapter 2 and we're looking at verse number 20. So Adam gave names to all cattle, to the birds of the air, to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper comparable to him. Yesterday, we saw that God was the one who saw this need in Adam. Now the passage is linking this need to Adam. It would seem as if he himself also discovered that there was no helper comparable to him. In doing the work that God has given to him in fulfilling his assignment, naming the animals as God has instructed him to, Adam sees a need in his life. Adam recognized that need. He felt the need for companionship and the Bible describes what he felt the need for with two words. The first is helper. The word used from the Hebrew describes someone who assists or offers help. Interestingly, it is in the process of doing his work of naming the animals that Adam discovers he needs a helper. So what is it about this work that made him feel he needed a helper? Was the work too much for him? Was it too large? I don't think so. I have an idea as to why he felt the need for a helper. And that is found in the second word that is used, and that word is comparable. The comparable is a loaded word. It means one opposite of you, or one like you, but who is not you. So Adam saw the need for someone like himself, but not himself. In other words, he's not looking for a clone, or a robot, a duplicate of himself. He's looking for someone comparable, like him, but not him. And why did Adam feel this need? I think he felt the need as he was doing his work of naming the animals. In naming the animals, he had to use speech. He had to make statements. He had to call them names. And pretty soon he discovered that speech doesn't have to be one way. You don't just want to talk and get no response. So he would talk to the animals and they would not talk back to him. And Adam felt the need for somebody with speech who could also communicate with him. So the need he felt was for someone who could reciprocate, somebody with the ability of speech he has and could talk back to him so they could exchange ideas and build a relationship of equals. And he felt that need. Somebody to speak to, whom he can listen to and participate in a relationship with. He was not looking for somebody to just name and, and control like the animals, but he was looking for something deeper. Adam shows us that each one of us needs a helper, but the helper we need is not just somebody who is above us. Adam had God who is above him, not the animals below him, but we need a true companion who is at our level, who is equal with us, who can share in our lives and whom we can share our lives with. At the base of it, that is what marriage is about. But it goes beyond marriage. Any really good relationship that enriches our life is a relationship with people who are comparable with you. And I pray that God will give you those kinds of helpers, not just those above you or below you, but those who are comparable with you at home, in the office, in every area of your life. Let us pray and say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the assignment you've given me. Please give me the help I need for my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, my friend, I believe God has a helper waiting for you, and may he give you the helper comparable to you. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.